This is a demonstration of the PlantPlaces.com mobile for Android search by color feature. PlantPlaces.com mobile is a free Android app available on the Google Play Store and it's a companion to the PlantPlaces.com website. To get the PlantPlaces.com mobile app simply go to the Google Play Store and search for PlantPlaces or PlantPlaces.com or simply go to the PlantPlaces.com website and click on the link that's provided. PlantPlaces.com mobile can do several things. It can search for plants by color. It can also search by other features as well, including bloom date. So you can search by color and bloom date to find flowers that bloom white in May. You can search by recommended, native, and edible. So you can find native plants that produce edible fruits. You can GPS a plant, create a plant collection. You can enter bloom dates of plants you see, and you can enter plants that you see for sale to help other people find the plants. This recording is going to look specifically at search by color. Now we're looking at an emulator of the Android device. It runs a little bit slower than, than the app would actually run on an actual device. But nonetheless, we can still demonstrate what we have. I also don't have a camera set up, so we can't test out the take new photo option, but that's no problem because with search by color, you can either search by taking a picture of something and getting real time feedback, or you can open an existing image that you have. So we're going to open an existing image, and what we see here is a picture of a redbud plant. If you look at this, the majority of color here is the sky that's behind it, the light blue sky that's behind it. And that's not what we're interested in. We're interested in the flower color, the pink and white and the mauve flower color, that we oftentimes associate with a red bud plant. That's not a problem, because the PlantPlaces.com color match algorithm filters out the colors that we don't want and focuses on colors that we'll typically see in plants like mauve and pink and other colors like that. So what will happen after we either take a photo or select a photo is PlantPlaces.com mobile will count the top 16 colors and show you the top 16 colors and then you select one. I'll pick for instance this uh, light pink color here, a uh, kind of pink white color here. Uh, we'll select that and PlantPlaces.com mobile will go to PlantPlaces.com and it will find plants that match that color and then it will bring back the photos so we can get a quick view of all of the plants that match that color. And we see here there are quite a few plants with a pink that's very similar to the pink that we saw on the red bud. As a matter of fact, there's that very same red bud. Different picture, but the same red bud. What I can do then is I can select a plant, like we'll pick the uh, magnolia, and it will go into the plant details page on plantplaces.com, which will show us more details about the plant, including its characteristics, if it's recommended, how, high, how tall it gets, if it likes water, if it can withstand drought, and many times it will even tell us who's selling the plant. So if you want to find a plant that's pink or a plant that's white and blooms in April, you can not only find out what that plant is, but you can also find out who's selling it and when it will bloom. So here's a picture of the magnolia we looked at. And once again, you see a very similar color to the red bud tree that we saw initially. So that works the same way, whether you are taking a photo from a camera or whether you're picking a photo that's already on your phone. Now I did mention that there is a special searching algorithm that will block out a lot of the color we're not interested in, like the light blue, the sky color, and focus in on the flower color. If you wish, you can turn that off. You can look at all colors by simply going to change your preferences. And then there's an option here called color filter. By default, that color filter is turned on, but we can simply turn it off by unchecking the color filter. And then when we go back and we do our color search again, we'll see that we get slightly different results because it's actually going to count the sky color. It's going to show us a little bit of that sky blue. So I choose open existing image and I'm going to choose our red bud once again. And as it comes back, we see that 
it now has indexed the sky blue color, which is the majority of the colors of this photo. So you see the difference. With the filter on, it will ignore colors that we'll see in the sky, and it will ignore colors that we oftentimes see in leaves. If you're taking a picture of a flower, that's mostly the background that, you're ha that you'll have, either leaves or the sky. And the algorithm that we use will block a lot of those colors out, so you'll see only the color that you're interested in. So once again, that's plantplaces.com mobile. In this video, we took a look at the search by color. In future videos, we'll look at the other features it can do as well, such as GPS a plant, so that you can make your own plant collection, and also the ability to enter plants that you see for sale, or maybe even you have for sale, and also enter bloom dates. The app is completely free. There is no cost. All you need is an Android device, a tablet, or a phone, and you're welcome to download and use the app. As always, we welcome your feedback and your suggestions. If you're on the App Store, it will show you our email address. Uh, you can simply uh, click to email, and we would love to hear what you think. We'd love to hear what you like and maybe even don't like about the app and what we can do to make it better. Thanks. This is Brandon Jones with PlantPlaces.com.